What's going on stackers? So in this video I'm going to share with you the easiest way to create a notebook interior for KDP. So welcome back to Stacking Profit. My name's Paddy and over here we give you the tools and resources to learn, grow and master passive income streams so that you can live a life of freedom. Now, like I said in this video, I'm going to share with you the easiest way to create a notebook interior for KDP. Now, two of the tools that we are going to be using is Canva. You can actually do this with the free version of Canva as well. So there is no need for the pro account. And then we are going to use tangent templates. Now there is a free way of doing what we're going to do with tangent templates, but I can never remember what that website's called, and this is just what I personally use myself, tangent templates, and it's one of the best softwares that you can have if you're a low content book publisher. Now, first things first, what you're going to need to do is a little bit of research to see what the dimensions are for the notebook and how many pages realistically you should have. Now the easiest way to do this is just come straight over to Amazon and then type in any type of notebook. Now I put funny notebook because if I just put notebook, it pulls up little computers and that's not what we want. So I've just put funny as an example. Wow, look at all these keywords for funny notebook. Adults, the office, co-workers, women. Maybe this is a niche that you might want to get into. Anyway, let's take a look. What we want to do is just a little tiny bit of research. So what I'm going to do is just open up one of these in a new tab. In fact, we don't even need to do that because I've got one of these extensions just here. I can't remember which one it is. But from here, we can actually see that the dimensions are six by nine. And it looks like by going through the first page, all notebooks are this size. So it's also 110 pages. Now let's take a look at another one. That one's 100 pages, and again, still six by nine. Now let's take a look at this one. Again, 110 pages, six by nine. Let's just take a look at another one or two. This one is 114 pages, but again, six by nine. So it looks like most notebooks are six by nine with anywhere from 100 to 120 pages. Now what we're going to do is take that data and go over to tangent templates. Now this makes things super, super easy. Now from here, we want the KDP helper. Now I believe the free website's called BookCal, I believe. So if you haven't got tangent templates, go and Google that because you can get all your dimensions from there again. I always teach from experience and only show you what I personally know. And me personally, I use tangent templates a lot. Anyway, from here, we can see, you can get the dimensions for your covers and interiors. So here, we're going to put in six by nine, because that's what it came down to after the little bit of research. And for pages, let's just do 100. Then from here, we want no on the interior bleed. Now remember, if you want bleed or nope, let me start again. Now, the only reason that you would tick bleed is if you have lines and or images that go directly to the edge of the page. For this instance, we're not going to be doing that, so we don't need to, need to tick bleed. Now, from here, we're just going to click continue, and it's going to spit out everything that you need to start creating your book. So from here, we can have the cover, so we can go through, get the dimensions for the cover. For this instance, we're going to be doing an interior, so we need to get the dimensions. Now, if we scroll down, we can get the dimensions for all these different types of softwares, for PowerPoint, for Keynote, for Canva, and all these other stuff. Now, I've only just used tangent templates because I want to show you the difference in dimensions when you tick bleed or no bleed. So for this instance, we ticked no bleed. So right now, the book type is just six by nine, which is pretty obvious because it's a six by nine book. But now, if we go back to the KDP helper, do that again, let's do six by nine, and then a hundred again. But now let's click bleed. 
And now let's go through and you'll see the difference in dimensions. So now if we scroll down, we can see we would actually need, no, nope, let's go on to the interior just there. If we scroll down again, we can see it's changed. So now we need 6.125 and 9.25. So this is for bleed. Now, depending on how many pages that you have in your book, this will also change. But again, for this instance, there's no bleed. So we can just put in six by nine. So I would take these dimensions, go over to Canva, go to create design, change this to custom design or custom size, change that to inches and just put in six by nine. Remember, that's what the software gave us. And now we can start creating the interior. Now, personal preference, you can go ahead and create a lined notebook interior here on Canva, but there's so many free interiors out there now just for lined interiors that there's really not much needed to do here. Well, that came out a little bit wrong. You don't really need to go and create a design or an interior for a notebook because you can get them for free on multiple different places. Book Bolt being one of them. But when you design like this, you could actually add other elements within the interior, especially if the notebook is niched down. So here we are. We got the page right up here, and this is where we're going to start creating the lined interior. Now from here, we want to go over to Elements, and then type in Lines, or Line. Click Enter, and now it's going to pull up all the lines that we can use. Now for this instance, we want this one just here, I believe. Now from here, what I want to do is make this a little bit thinner, if I can. So I'll go on to here. Line weight is already at five, so let's change this to three. That's a little bit thinner and that could work. So I'm going to keep it like that. Now from here, what I want to do is just go to File, Show Margins. So these margins are nothing to do with books. I just like to have this margin round the outside so it gives me some kind of guide where I can go up to. Now on this line, I want to make a little bit longer. So I'm just going to do that, pull it over a little bit. All I did was clicked and dragged. And as you can see, the line is a little bit longer. Now from here, what I want to do is just move this up, probably to about there. And now it just comes down to duplicating. So I'm going to duplicate that, move that over, duplicate that one again. Now I'm just going to keep doing this for a few. Now it doesn't matter if they're not all lined up properly, because I'm going to show you a tip on how to do that in a second. So let's move that one over. Let's make that one a little bit bigger, just so you can see in a second. And now I'll probably keep that like so. Now from here, let's do that. From here, what we can do is just click on the page, drag over all, so everything's highlighted. And now from here, we want to go to position. And then we're going to do tidy up and have a look. And now we can see that all these lines are individually spaced, and that's what we wanted. So now I'm going to drag over it all again and click clone, and now, or copy. Now I'm going to do the same with that. Then I'm going to do that again, like so, maybe to about there, then one more. Let's move this down. Let's maybe, nope, let's keep that how that is. Drag, position, tidy up and bam we have the beginnings of our notebook now what i want to do is just move this up ever so slightly there we go and keep that there now another thing i can do is just take this top one so let's do that again we'll take that we'll duplicate we'll move up and then we can just move this in to make that a little bit shorter and then we could keep that probably there. Now from here, what I would actually do is go through, maybe change the black on all of these. I should have done that at the beginning. So it's a little bit less black, but for this instance, I'm just going to keep that how it is. And then I can duplicate. And now I've duplicated, I'm going to move this to the other side. There we go, like so. So the first page would have it there. 
and the second page would have it there. And now I would just keep going through duplicating. So let's do that, duplicate, move to the bottom, and then I'll go up one, duplicate, move to the bottom. And as we can see, this little bit up here is now exactly how we want it and now I'll just go through keep duplicating until I had around a hundred pages and as you can see this was really really easy to create now if this was a notebook which is niche down which it should be anyway you could put some elements and things in here to make it more unique but that's the basics of creating a notebook relatively easy using Canva then from here once I'd created that, I'd go to download, click on here, go to PDF print, click on all. So I'd click right here, all pages. Remember, this should be around 100. I'd click done and click download. And then I would have my interior. Now, what I'm going to do is just give that a second to download, open it up just so we can take a little look. So there we go. Let's click on there. Just give that a second and there we go. Here's the beginnings <coughs> excuse me, of our interior. And as you can see, it looks pretty good. Now, one thing I might have done is made this line a little bit thinner just so it looks a little bit better. But we can see, real simple notebook done all within 10 minutes. So go ahead, give it a try and see what you think. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. That being said, I've been Paddy, this has been Stacking Profit, and I'll see you again soon.